Um, before we sort of like break this down and so forth, um, so do Real Madrid have like a special kind of first look deal of Brazilian young players? Because you know we all love our Brazilian guys. We all want to find the new Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Dino, Pele, and so forth. But why is it that this these players are only going to Real Madrid? What is it that Real Madrid have that Chelsea don't, don't have? That's what I want to know. So why is it that all of I mean, for goodness sake, um, your boy. Uh, Marcelo went there. You now have your boy Rodrigo up, 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 up in that piece. You have Militao up in that piece. You, they, they're always getting these Brazilian guys. They had Ronaldo back in the day. So, and they tried to see if we'd go for Neymar. Cause I think someone cracked a joke saying that, like, I think ever since um, Perez missed out on Neymar, he's like, that's it. I'm, I'm getting every single Brazilian that's, that's comes forth. But let's talk about this, man. Um, it's so, shout out to Fab. So, BSL in Brazilian football history. According to the Palmeiras president, 35 million euros fixed fee, 25 million euros add-ons, 12 million euros extra money in taxes, contracts from 2026 up to, to from no contract 2027 up to 2030, joining in July 2024 when he'll turn 18 and he is only 16 years old. So look, there's been a lot of hype about this guy. And I think whenever there's a kid that's hyped. You always have to be very careful. But I'm going to give you the two flexes. So the one flex is Adriano was hyped. I didn't think Adriano was, was that good. He was just um, OP on the Pro Evo game where his shot power was like 1,000. Pato was, was, was overhyped. Good, but he wasn't as good as the hype that was given toward, towards him. So there are many guys who have been given this, oh my God, this is the next big Brazilian guy. Because they're Brazilian, you think, okay, this is going to be the new Pele, the new Ronaldo, the new Dino, the new Rivaldo. And it doesn't, it doesn't always pan out like that. Neymar was worth the hype, but Neymar just didn't fulfill his hype. That was the only difference that you had with Neymar here. But now, this is the, the difference flex here. Real Madrid don't get scrubs and that's the thing that annoys me the most is because if real madrid have pinpointed you almost forgot they even have vinny as well if real madrid have looked at you and have pinpointed you that means that they believe that you could that you can do something that you can bring something special to the freaking team so the fact that they've looked at um your boy endrick and as and i already signing him as a freaking 16 year old that's because they feel that oh no no this guy he's good enough to done that Real Madrid jersey and he's good enough to really be that what's up and we believe this guy has great potential this ain't scum up we're dealing with we're not dealing with freaking Elche we're not dealing with freaking Lugo like if Lugo says hey we're, we're buying Hendrik yeah good luck to you Lugo no one cares because they're freaking Lugo yes I mean that with all due disrespect but because it's Real Madrid it's like oh okay let's see what we can do and there's a huge hype of, of, of about this kid and my thing though is we can't talk about Hendrik without talking about Neymar because when I look at Hendrik the hype about him the fact that this guy is joining um Real Madrid as a 16 year old it's going to be a huge massive deal they're not going to be massive eyeballs on him you can't ignore the Neymar aspect because it's like I look at this and I'm saying to myself that man I remember when this, the hype was made about Neymar and then Neymar made that move from Santos to Barcelona and he scored that whole goal of the century goal for Santos and it's like Neymar just didn't fulfill his potential. And look at just his failure. Um, so, so I look at his his failure at the Copa America. So, sorry, his failure. Well, didn't win a Copa America. His failure at the Copa America. So, yeah, that counts. They won one without you. And his failure at the World Cup recently. He just didn't get it done. You know, just didn't get it done. Because, oh, yeah, he scored the goal. But you didn't get it done. For someone of your talents, bare minimum. A Cup America, but what was expected of you for some of your talents and you not being likely to pay late is okay, you've got to give us that World Cup. No one cares about the goal record. Only Neymar, stupid, loserish fanboys care about that stupid, pointless record. So for Hendrik, will he succeed when Neymar fails? Will he come in? win multiple UCL titles for Real Madrid, make a huge, massive impact on the club game. Because let's be real, Neymar's high points was the treble. But that is all linked in with MSN. He hasn't really made the impact on the club game that Dino made, that Rivaldo made, that Ronaldo, that your boy Ronaldo made. And for so for if Hendrik says what's up, wins the UCL titles, is 
a multiple Ballon d'Or winner. Says what's up in the club game, staying in La Liga for Real Madrid, Madrid, battling Barca and so forth. And dare I say, he wins the Cup America, or dare I even say, wins the WC for, um, um, for Brazil. Slightly scary hours. Slightly scary hours. That's what I'm saying, man. But um, yeah, man. Guys, talk to me. Comment below. Do you think Hendrik is gonna be is gonna surpass Neymar? Do you think he's gonna be that big of a deal, or do you think this is just overhyped? And also, why do Real Madrid get first dibs on young Brazilians and not a team like Chelsea who need these kinds of techniques, man? Is what it is, man. Remember, subscribe for all the football goodness here on the Football Hot Man. And remember to check out these other vids for that tier one and regular member content. Become a member right now and gain access to that extra amazing content. Peace!